we have a fair bit to talk about here. Quite a bit indeed. It's a topic that I have discussed many times on this channel and I probably would have updated sooner. But we're back and we're going to talk about it. Obviously you can tell from the title, that topic is Tyson Fury versus Alexander Rusik, the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world, the biggest prize in combat sports. An event so big that there are not many other sporting events that are actually bigger. I mean, what is more prestigious than being the heavyweight champion of the world? Not much. Anyway, so, the last time I ever talked about this topic, the fight was initially supposed to be on. A rocky negotiation process, argues over splits, Fury wanted to have a bigger share of the pie, it was only 50-50. It came down to Fury demanding a 70-30 split and Usyk being up against it, accepted. And at that point, it said all terms agreed and it looked like that it was going to happen. Unfortunately, there was more work to be done behind the scenes and it didn't. On the 22nd of March, the fight collapsed for April 29th at Wembley Stadium. The details about how the fight collapsed were then revealed. Fury initially wanted no rematch clause, but when he was convinced to keep the bilateral rematch clause in, he um, demanded 50-50 for a rematch, even if he lost the first fight. And so Usyk, even coming in as the undisputed champion and, and Fury with nothing, Fury still wanted 50-50. And it was at that point that Usyk's team realised that making the fight was just completely unrealistic and Fury was just too difficult to work with and they pulled the plug. So that was March. That was quite a while ago. It's now October. But we got news. You know, behind the scenes there was rumours that discussions for the fight to take place were still ongoing. And on the 29th of September, there was something big. Something big was announced. It was announced that the fight was signed. This, this report initially came from ESPN uh, boxing writer Mike Coppinger, who was quite a big deal on Twitter, on boxing Twitter. However, not many people believed, obviously, you know, we've had our hopes smashed too many times. But then Frank Warren started posting it, and so did Bob Allen, and so did Top Bank, and so did the fighters, and then so did Prince Turkey, the man who is setting up this Fury in, in Garnu Circus show. So it looks like we have a fight. And this really says to how disgraceful Joshua versus Boulder is because they still can't make that fight. There was initially reports of that these two fights, Fury versus Usyk and Joshua versus Wilder, happening on the same night. It was obviously never going to happen. Not there's Wilder, while people like Wilder and Joshua would never concede to be co-main, and neither would Fury and Usyk. It was just never, never going to happen in a million years. But we don't have to worry about that because we at least got one of them. And we got the more significant fight, we got the high level fight, we got the fight undisputed. Fury versus Usyk. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Just a quick update, not going too deep into the details. Apparently, it will happen in the same venue as Fury versus Ndanu. You know, the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, is apparently what the venue's called. It will happen either on December 23rd or a date in January, depending on how Fury comes from his fight with Ngannou. Not really worried about how he gets through it because he will win the fight. No shadow of a doubt he will win the fight. But if he gets injured in the fight or not, which you know can always happen even if it's the easiest fight in the world, you can, 
you can punch, you can just do something at the wrong time and completely break your hand. So let's hope Fury gets through the fight as much as we do not like him at this point, as much as we've been wound up by him. I just hope he gets through the fight so we can get to see this. And um, a prediction video will come when the time eventually comes, but we gotta wait. We gotta wait. It can't leave today is the third of October. Fury versus Ngannou is 25 days away. And we have to see how that fight plays out. So, in the meantime, we've got to wait for that. This heavyweight division is a circus show. And it is good to see the ultimate fight in the heavyweight division be made. Because this division has been stacking up for way too long now. Ever since... Ironically, Fury has got these belts. He's just been way too stagnant, you know. There seemed to be hope. In fact, the division was going to come back to life. It was going to be better than ever when Fury beat Wilder in the second fight in an exhilarating performance. Obviously, COVID shut everything down. And then there was about half a year of frustrating Joshua Fury negotiations that never went anywhere. Then there was the trilogy, which was, was very exciting, a brilliant, brilliant fight. And Joshua lost his belts to Usyk. But uh, since then, you know, Joshua and Usyk, that rematch that took ages to make, took way longer than it should have, eventually happened. Um, and also, Fury versus White was a good event, but not a, not a not particularly good fight. It was a good event. But ever since then, you know, Fury did all the bullshit with declaring uh, retirement, even though, let's be honest, he was never retired. I've actually watched a, at the at home of the Furies. No one believed he was retired. I put myself watching that shit. No one believed it. So, we just he sat here waiting, all relatively confident, bar an injury, that this fight will eventually finally take place. It is signed. Um, Bob Arum has stated that Alexander Rusik is and will be at the fight. He will be sat ringside and the official fight date will be announced as soon as Fury comes through the fight with Ngannou. So, let's enjoy this. It's a fantastic fight. We cannot wait. None of us can wait. It's the most historically significant fight in a generation. It's the biggest heavyweight fight in decades. And it's one that we simply cannot miss. It's the biggest fight in boxing. It's the biggest fight potentially since Mayweather Pacquiao. And we deserve fights like this. We've got a fair share of great fights over the years. And this year, in fact, you know, we've got Stephen Fulton in a way. We've got Spence Crawford finally. And we're going to get Fury versus Usyk. So, props to the men for making it happen. Most people's hopes were completely annihilated one when um, the fight collapsed in March and people said it would never happen. I always, I always held out hope that it would happen just as long as the personal fight. And Saudi, once Saudi Arabia came back into it, it would happen. The fight in hindsight was never really a possibility. It was always going to be a long shot to make the fight in Wembley because there simply is not enough money. And they nearly made it work, but there's just not enough money to be split, not enough money to be chucked around. And that's what it came down to. But we're getting it now. And I'm going on way too long and I probably need to go now. So I will see you very soon. Bye.